Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Dwight and Jason took the trip up from Virginia. They hung out with us for a few days, stayed at the local hotel while we did the audio on their bikes. Um, well, they were both road glides. One got a stage three high power and the other one had audio in it already. We just, um, we actually ended up taking two speakers off the bike. Um, that way you can redistribute the power. Um, he already had two sound digital 800s. Um, the bike actually had three amps in it. It had uh, the Rockford subwoofer kit with Rockford amplifier and two sound digital 800s. We removed the six by nines because he didn't need them. And we redistributed the power and we removed the Rockford four channel because the sound digital amp provides more power. So we went from a three amplifier build to a two amplifier build bridged the sound digital amplifier on the Rockford 10s, reconfigured the crossovers on the DSP, and got the bike to play way louder and have way, we actually doubled his bass without having to sell him any equipment. It's, um, it's a common mistake that a lot of shops make. If the bike has eight holes, they put eight speakers in, and then the mids end up being too loud and it drowns out the bass. So if you run the right amount of power to the speakers, you don't need a high speaker count to make the bike sound good. And this bike was proof. The bike came in with uh, fairing speakers, speakers in the tour pack pods, and six behind the lids. Um, the reason we disconnected the lid speakers, uh, one, you really weren't gonna be able to hear them um, over the tour pack speakers. Two, they're running off a four channel amp, so we would either have to tune it to the lower power of the six by nines, because if we try to tune it to the higher power six and a half in the tour pack, we'd end up blowing the six by nines. So it just made more sense to not even bother with the lid speakers. They were Rockford Fosgate because they were the Rockford Fosgate drop in 10 subwoofers. So they, the way Rockford designs the woofers, you can only use their six by nines. So we disconnected them. Then, um, so it came in as a eight speaker bike. It left as a six speaker bike playing louder, clearer, and had way more bass. On the second bike, we did our stage three high power. Um, so with this one, we went with DB Drive Motos, seat six CDs in the upper and lower fairing, nothing in the lids, Hertz 200L mid base drivers in the saddlebags, Sound Digital 1600.1 to drive the eight inch mid base drivers, used the doobie base knob with the clip indicator, and then we used the Sound Digital Evo X2 800.4 to drive the DB Drive Moto six CDs in the upper and lower fairing. HKI Mini DSP. Um, did a Braille lithium battery. So um, both bikes sound phenomenal. Both customers are super happy. Check out the video of the build.
What? Oh, fuck you, bitch. Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. We got Dwight and Jason that came up from Virginia to get a audio upgrade on their bikes. So we did a stage three high power in Dwight's and then Jason already has equipment installed. It was not a wiring rescue, he wired it perfectly. But we removed two speakers, we removed an amplifier and did some NVS Audio Special Sauce. He has double the bass and the highs are louder. Are you guys completely happy with your installs? Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Worth the trip? Absolutely. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. We finished both bikes up uh, Saturday night and they rode home early Sunday morning. I'm sure the trip was much more enjoyable with fresh new sound systems on both bikes.